Samantha here again with the Shibakto Family Center. Today I want to read the book called I'll Never Let You Go. This book is written and illustrated by Mary Ann Richmond. Edward and Blanky met on the first day of Edward. From that day forward, they were the best of friends and always together. On walks in the park, during nap time, through thunderstorms, and in the doctor's office. and tucked in cozy at bedtime. I'll never let you go, said Edward to Blanky. It's true that Blanky would do anything for Edward, be the table for his picnic, the roof for his fort, or the cape for his magician costume. I'll never let you go, said Edward to Blanky. Even when Edward went on vacation, he took Blanky along to play on the beach, ride go-karts, or toast marshmallows under the stairs. One time, Blanky almost stayed in Florida when Edward left him at the spaghetti shack. The waitress ran out to the parking lot. I'll never let you go, said Edward, and he put Blanky in his monkey backpack for extra safekeeping. They took care of each other in other ways too. Blanky dried Edward's tears when he was sad. Edward and Mama gave Blanky a bath when he had too many orange popsicle stains on him. Edward sat and waited in front of the dryer. I miss you, he said as Blanky went round and round. This is good practice for when you go to school, said Mama. What is? Being without Blanky for a while. Oh no, said Edward. I'll never let him go. School began after summer, when the leaves started to turn orange. Why can't Blanky come to school with me, said Edward. Because, said Mama, school is a great place to make new friends and try new things. It's a fun part of growing up. Humph, Edward grumbled. He'll be sad, Edward said, and covered Blanky so he couldn't hear them talking. It's like you and me, said Mama. I'll be sad without you too but more happy about your new school adventure. Can we give Blanky some new things to do too so he doesn't miss me so much, asked Edward. They made a list. Play with my stuffed animals, said Edward. Swing on the clothesline, said Mama. Take a nap with Kitty, added Edward. Help me in the garden, said Mama. Wow, he'll be busy, hollered Edward. Will Blanky know I still love him even when we're apart? asked Edward. Do you know I still love you even when we're apart? asked Mama. Yes, said Edward. Then he will too. Mama tucked the two under the covers. When you love someone, you are always together in here, she said, patting her heart. Edward and Blanky liked that answer. Is that where I'll be when I'm at school? asked Edward, putting his hand over his mama's heart. Yes, forever and always, said mama. No matter where you are, no matter how big you grow, my heart will never ever let you go. And that's it for today, everyone. I chose this book because I thought it was a great little reminder for the time that we're in right now. You might not be able to get all the hugs that you want, but just know that your loved ones are close to your heart. Have a good weekend, everybody. I can't wait to see you guys again.